is. Hope you are doing great. I mean, your literacy teacher, Mrs. Adeyoju Oluwa Dunsi. Here with me are the admins of the year three puppies that I'm going to be teaching today. As you can see, you are all celebrated, and I hope to see you soon. The topic before us today is add them. Once again, the topic before us today is add them. Add them is one of the part of speech of English language. To start with, what are part of speech? Part of speech are all the words that are being encompassed inside a language. That is, all the words that we have in English are fully represented inside the parts of speech of English language. Just like I said, I said our main focus for today is adverb. Adverb. What is an adverb? Adverbs are words which tell us more about verbs. From the word add and verb, you can see that it has some, something to do with verb. Adverb tells us more about an action that is being performed by the subject in a sentence. A what is a verb thing? A verb is an, is an action that is being performed by someone that is the subject in a sentence. Almost all sentences are as subjects and they also as they also have the action that is being performed by the subjects in the sentence. So for us to uh, for us to have more understanding and knowledge about the action that is being performed by the subjects in the sentence, that is why we have the adverb. The adverb gives us more information about the action that is being performed by the subject in the sentence. So an action man adverb modifies, qualifies, or gives us more information about the verb in the sentence. Here with me, I have types of adverb. Size of adverb. Here we have four types of adverbs. One, adverbs of time or frequency, which answers the question when. Two, we have adverbs of place, which answers the question where. Adverbs of degree, which answers the question how much. Four, adverbs of manner, which answers the question how. So now we are going to be taking the size of adverbs one after the other. And the first one here is adverbs of time. Adverbs of time indicates time or frequency of an action. That is, it indicates the time in which an action is being performed. That is, uh, as a person, for you to carry out an action, there must be a particular time in which you carried out that action. So, the adverb of time gives us more information about the time in which the action in the sentence is being performed. The answer the question when or how frequently is the action performed. Examples that we have frequently, you can use frequently, eventually, occasionally, always, often, never, so on and so forth. So, we have examples there. One, it lasts occasionally. That occasionally is what is the adverb in the sentence. Occasionally is, is giving us more information about the words. The verb laugh. The verb there in this sentence is laugh. And occasionally is what is telling us uh, the frequency, the frequency of the action that is being performed by this subject, which is the e. So, she always gets a good result. She always gets a good result. She is the subject of the sentence. Why? 
Always is the what? Is the adverb. Get is the verb here. So always is what? Is giving us more information about the action in the sentence. Free. I saw your sister yesterday. And is the what? Is the subject in the sentence. Why? So is the action that is being performed by the subject I. Why? Yesterday is what? Is telling us the time in which I saw your sister. It's telling us that it's not today that I saw your sister, but it was yesterday. So it's telling us the time in which I saw your sister. So yesterday, the word at yesterday is an advert that is giving us more information about the verb so. Let's go to the next one, which is adverbs of place. Adverbs of place. They are used to indicate the place or direction of the action in the sentence. They tell us of the place in which an action is being carried out. Like they are on like the adverb of sign that says us that means us to know the sign in which an action is being carried out. But this one makes us to know the place in which an action is being carried out. They answer the question where, that is where is the action performed? Or where was the action performed? Exam we have examples there. Examples are across, under, over, in, out, and so on and so forth. Examples. Number one, it plays in the field. It plays in the field. Okay. If I if I may ask, if I say, where 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 did he play? I will say he played in the field. So that's oh uh, that's uh, in the field as it does to be able to answer the question where that is in the field is telling us the place in which the action she place took place. It's making us know where the action took place. It's making us know where the action took place. The next one, number two, I think it's going to school. I think it's going to school. The subject in this sentence is I think why going is what is the verb, the action. To school is the adverb that is giving us more information about where a day is going to. The fourth one is she is staying at my house. At my house is the adverb, and staying is the verb. As my house is telling us the place a day is staying. Let's go to the next one. The next type of adverb is the adverb of degree the adverb of degree the adverb of degree answers the question how much it answers the question how much they are used to express the importance or degree of the action in the sentence yes they make us to know how important uh, an action is they make us to know the degree of the action in the sentence and they ask her the question, how much? Examples are agree, nearly, entirely, completely, and so on and so forth. Here are sentences to back that up. Number one, she completely forgot about her birthday. She completely forgot about her birthday. Here, forgot is the verb in the sentence, which so is the action in the sentence. Why completely is what is the adverb in the sentence? Adverb the completely is giving us more information about the words, the action for girls. Two, are your ugly studies? Are your ugly studies? Here, studies is the words, is the verb in the sentence, that is the action. When you study, that means you are kind, you are performing an action. Ugly is what is the adjective, uh, the adverb I need mean, in the 
sentence is making us know how much that is how important how frequently is ayo is ayo or carrying out the action of studying free i read the newspaper thoroughly i read the newspaper thoroughly thoroughly is what is the adverb in the sentence why read is the verb thoroughly is giving us more information about the verb read which is the action of the sentence so thoroughly is making us to know the words the degree in which that action of reading is being carried out by the words the subject which is high the last one is adverbs of manner adverbs of manner adverbs of manner answers the question how how they are used to express the way or manner the action in the sentence is performed action or uh, adverb of manner make us to know how that is the way you know if you are performing an action there must be a, a way in which that action is being carried out by you so the adverb of manner gives us more information about the way an action is being performed by the subjects in the sentence they answer the question how is the action performed examples are we can use equally carefully slowly quickly nicely so on and so forth these adverbs usually end in yes most of these adverbs usually end in n y like you can see here equally carefully slowly quickly most of them end in words n y so anytime you come across ways that end in l y that means that most of them falls under adverb of manner which is telling us the words the way in which an action in the same sense is being performed examples are number one let's divide the prices equally here divide is the words the action in the sentence why equally is the words is the adverb equally is, equally is giving us more information about the words the verb divide why equally is also is, is also telling us the words how that is how we should divide the prime that it should be worth equally so it's telling us the way in which the action in the sentence should be performed number two john is walking slowly john is walking slowly slowly is the adverb in the sentence why walking is the words is the verb which is the action walking that is walking is the action now so this is john so this slowly is giving us more information about the action which is walking so it's telling us the manner that is the way in which john is carrying out the action of walking that is slowly not not as if john is running or running or is she uh, is walking very fast or or, or running but is walking slowly We've been able to talk about one of the parts of speech today, which is adverb. And I told you earlier on that an adverb gives us more information about a verb. It modifies, qualifies a verb. And I told you that in the sentence, there must be someone is performing the action which is always the subject in the same sense and i told you that there must be was a verb that is the action that's been performed by the subject in the same sense so i and, and i said for you to give more information about the action that is being performed by the subjects of the same sense you have to was use the part of speech which is adverb and i told you that we have types of adverbs and i said the first one is 
The first one is adverb of time. I told you that adverb of time, they make us to know what the time, the time in which the particular action is being performed. The next one, we talk about address of place. I told you that address of place tell us about where an action is being performed. We also talk about address of degree. And I told you address of degree make you to know the degree, the degree or the importance of an action in a sentence. For address of manner, I told you that address of manner are uh, Make us to know how an action is being performed. That is the position of the words, the position of the subjects when performing an action. So I think when else we hear about an adverb with this, I think we'll be able to what we'll be able to we'll be able to recognize it and talk about it, give or uh, give or uh, give us out and be able to do any on uh, we are being given on it. Now for us to for 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 us to know maybe we already, we've already got in what we've been teaching so far. Here are some questions that, meant, that we are meant to answer. One, the topic is being reviewed with the following questions. Two, what is an on? Number one, what is an adverb? What is an adverb? I believe we should all be able to answer that. Number two, mention the types of adverbs. We discussed about that earlier on. Um, three, mention two examples each for the size of adverbs. Four, form two sentences each for the size of adverbs. Now, here is your own form. I believe you all have this math English book and course. So you can go to the page, page 144, number 11. So let's do it and submit to the issues and form. The issues are able to collect it. Thank you, God bless you.